uh, you join me on a very cold morning on, in February. Um, what you might notice today is we're not on a river. Um, today I've decided to come down to a complex close to my house um, called Seven Lakes. Um, as in the title, it comprises of seven lakes in a valley. Um, one and two, Lake one and two are their predator lakes um, with pike and perch. So that's what I'm targeting today. Um, I have uh, one rod out uh, on dead baits for the pike and I also brought rods for the perch. Um, I've got prawns and um, worms uh, for the prawns for the um, for the for the perch so we're going to do a couple of hours here on lake one which is predominantly their sort of pike lake and then we'll move down to lake two which is their specimen perch lake i'm hopeful that we should get some bites today um, i haven't fished lakes for this winter yet but the rivers are absolutely swollen and flowing through as you've seen on some of my other videos so you'll um, you'll understand why I'm trying a river today um, but I am hopeful that uh, that we can eke out something today um, I'll just give you a quick look at the swim so we've got an overhanging tree on the left and also on the right as well so we've got plenty to go for in this swim if not i'll you know there's a few other swims that look good it's a very deep lake as well which will help with the cold weather um i think it goes down to sort of 14 to 16 foot but even close in we're looking at about eight or nine foot so um nice and deep in this cold weather so let's hope that we can catch something today um, I'll catch up with you next time uh, hopefully with a fish in my hands First one of the day. Oh, yes. So, first one of the day, and not a bad one at all. Um, just getting up. Show you. He's been resting a while, so he's a bit lively. Right there we go. So yeah, very lean. Um, I'd probably say five pound. Uh, just a typical jack. Let's get show the other side. So if he behaves. <laughs> Very cold fish, but funny enough, no leeches. So yeah, 
What a lovely fish. Quite a nice markings, very light, very long fish, but um, yeah, like I say, very skinny. Nothing down inside, so yeah, let's get him back. That's the roach doing the deed there with the um, zombie lure spray on. So let's get another one in. So. That's made it for me for today. <laughs> After first decent fish of uh, 2021, really. I've had a couple of tiny little sort of one pound jacks, but that's the first proper pike of, uh, of this winter uh, 2021. It's been tough. But uh, yeah, as soon as I'd cast it out further out into the lake, away from the snags, funny enough, it went within five minutes, it was off. Um, so I've cast back out there into much deeper water um, and let's see if there's any more cruising around out there. Um, the right hand rod, rod I've now switched over to a running ledger rig um, with lobworms on to see if I can find any perch in here as well so let's see how it goes. Um, where we move probably move around to the other side of the lake where it's less muddy and um, a lot safer for walking around on this bank here is treacherous getting up and down so tight lines to all of you that are on the bank today um, hopefully I'll speak to you again soon with another fish so we've uh, now moved over to the other side of the lake um, we had that one fish for about five or six pounds and then I had also as I was packing up a dropped bite as well um, so I've moved over here this is where the just to my left here is the outlet that goes down into lake number two. Um, there's a lot of overhanging trees here, a um, bit of structure as well. So we're gonna spend sort of half hour, 45 minutes here, and then maybe try one more swim on this lake um, before moving down to lake number two. But, uh, the sun's starting to come out now. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too bright, but it's very deep this pool, so it shouldn't really affect anything. Again, I've got a roach out on the right and my left hand rod I've got out um, on a, link, on a uh, running ledger for perch with a king prawn on. So let's see how this goes. Um, I'll catch up with you guys uh, hopefully once I've uh, got a fish. A third swim uh, second one nothing happening at all there um, so I've moved into the far corner this will be I think the last swim on this lake before we move down to lake number two but um, we'll give it a good 40 45 minutes let's see if anything happens so hopefully uh, I'll see you again with a fish so we're now on uh, lake number two uh, this is their sort of perch predator lake um, but I've been told by the bailiff that there's a lot of sort of five to six pound jacks in there as well so I'm going to keep one rod out with a dead bait on um, and then I'm going to float fish prawns on the second rod. It is exceedingly weedy lake um, so it's going to take a bit of finding a spot that's clear to present the uh, the prawns and the float so Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can find some, um, and I will uh, catch up with you soon. Well, <clears throat> this is the last swim for today. I'll give it another 20 minutes. It seemed to die a death after that early start that I had. It, uh, you know, it looked quite good for a while, um, and then it just completely died. Um, don't know whether it's the cold wind but it has actually got very bright. Um, we was forecast rain and snow, but we didn't get any, but we got, you can probably see here, you know, we've got clear blue skies. So, um, you know, maybe that's affected it as well. 
It's a bit annoying because I'm becoming a bit of a one fish wonder at the moment where I can't seem to get more than one fish on a session. Um, and it's, it's, it's really annoying. Um, especially for you guys because obviously you like to see lots of catching and you know I do my best to come out every week um, to try and um, get some good content for you guys but uh, it's just been tough so uh, I'm going to give it about 15-20 minutes um, if you do like the channel and I upload videos every week don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button and also the notification bell which will let you know when the video goes live so if I don't speak to you again with a fish, uh, have a great week and tight lines if you're on the bank.